projection mapping 3d projection mapping first of all what is projection mapping projection mapping means some image or video okay through we are projecting to somewhere projecting what, what how we can project it using projector right using projector we can project an image you can project a video okay that's called three that's called projection mapping so projection mapping if you do it for example this is projection mapping this you might have seen when there is an event comes uh, always happen in cities and all they show different images i mean the building colors will change just imagine there is an event to come there's a national day comes there is a uh any other event is coming so based on the event they want to decorate their their building they want to change do some recreations over here some light is very expensive comparatively that you are doing a projection mapping that means we are keeping some projector from here in front of the building and 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 showing that projector so showing the building in different color maybe video going to happen maybe image is going to happen maybe a country flag is going to show the so this all we can do here for example is this another building okay through the projection mapping see how much detail can work on it so similar you can see a lot of exercise here through the projection mapping in 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 current time you know for example is a new building so they made like this okay recently uh, it started to use in everywhere in public when you go for any um, any museums and all uh, um, you see that uh, what kind of result we are getting so many projectors are projecting based on each area so they will be exactly adjusting the projector and based on the projector this image is so video whatever it is is going to play everywhere a lot of exercise you can check in youtube for the video you can check in uh, google for images okay this is for example you want a car for example see through the projector making different kind of textures on it so it depends on the situation so they make different different uh, ideas is all people ideas right see okay some por some portion of the building can be to some portion cannot be to uh, the end their uh, building look can make it old okay and their building can make it glow some video can run uh, around it so you have seen now is everywhere projection mapping doing nowadays uh, so this projection mapping means actually projection mapping means through some projector through some projector projecting an image to any building okay so it can be image or video that is actually called projection mapping so you can just check uh, what is projection mapping i'm just going to type it over here okay similar to video mapping okay uh, actually it is a kind of argument reality uh, it turns an object to regularly shape onto display surface on video projection the object may become complex industrial landscape such a building or etc etc okay see when i am ask saying what is projection mapping you can easily is explaining through this one through a projector a design we are changing on it okay this is a normal projector similar kind of projector maybe the quality will be different depends on what kind of requirement you have and we are projecting something like this okay this is actually what is if somebody asks what is projection mapping this is the thing so look can change image can change this is all possible with projection mapping so you need to know more about this one this is a different industry okay so through what are the designs is coming over here what are the design comes on the building this all are graphics this graphics is doing with some graphics software it can be with the adobe after effects if it is possible with the video editing of adobe premiere uh, with the help of any designing software photoshop and all okay so using this all element projection mapping so when i go to advance this one there are a lot of type of projection mapping other and recently you know hologram and all hologram but this is not on happening on a building you can see in holograms um, uh, it give the result on in front of your table actually there is nothing over there but it's a projection mapping okay so it's also from different way the light comes and the center we are getting the right result but we feel like 3d element on 3d objects so 3d objects will be in front of us okay this is a um, uh, hologram hologram uh, hologram video is there if you go to youtube you can find many videos on hologram this is different technique with a small small element how can we show this is actually hologram result
you can check what is hologram. Technique that enables wave front of recorder to be later considered. Holography is known as method of generating three-dimensional image. So this is this is the thing. Actually, is projection mapping. But three-dimensional image means we don't have a particular surface to show the projects, maybe. Okay. So it will be generating 3D objects you will feel because in a different angle the light is going to come. That's the reason that we are getting 3D objects. We will feel like 3D objects is in front of you. So that is called hologram. When you go for any um, um, exhibitions and all, you can see a minimum one or two counters, they show you an idea or a new project happens, which is in hologram or some building um, uh, formation will be animation show you through uh, hologram. Okay, this is actually hologram. So in hologram, even in 3D projection mapping itself, when you go for advanced to one, when you say, I told you a lot of advanced techniques, are there. there are people, they show uh, videos or images. So you feel like it's on air, okay? Now, for example, um, how we do a projector, we, we have, uh, we have a, uh, a surface to project it, right? We have a white board is there using, usually a projector is projecting to a wall or, or you saw in a theater how, we, how, how it's happening. The projector, if it is projecting directly to, to screen, we have a screen over there, right? So you feel, you may see this one, you can see some places people are using. Uh, you feel like the images happen on air, air. You, you, you see nothing over there, but you can see that it will be projecting to projecting uh, uh, an image uh, or a video on somewhere on air. You feel like that. But there are, they are using a transparent glasses. They're keeping transparent papers, transparent, there are different kind of materials other. On that, if they are projecting, we never see that uh, there is something. It's a transparent option. You feel like only the element is like a PNG sequences, right? So we will have no other backgrounds and only the building or objects will be there. So that's a different idea. Similar kind of many, if I, if I want to explain it, many different, different techniques, day by day, it is updating. So do a research on it. What type of projection mapping is there? What are the latest projection mapping technique? What is the hologram technique? What are the different type of hologram technique? Okay. So do a research on it so you can find a lot of new, new element. The currently, uh, the everywhere in industry, when you go for exhibitions, events, uh, everywhere, at least they make this kind of some of the elements to get attract to their companies, to their product or to their service and all. Okay. So it's very important. You need to research about it so how this are uh, doing this is a technical things everybody can learn it okay as you guys are uh, expert in 3d uh, 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 graphics uh, or motion graphics and all you're going to create this content this content in a different proportion diff using different projector different aspect different ratio we are projecting to the where we are projecting maybe like a hologram maybe on on a building or whatever okay so this is actually this is called actually uh, projection mapping so what it is happening this projection mapping in movie so this i told you about projection mapping the using a projector it is projecting in a real world so in movie projection mapping technique in movie. For example, the entire city you need to model for, for some subjects or this entire building you need to model, okay? You see, when you come to the city, how much detail is there? A lot of detail is there in this, this shot, okay? So to do this all detail model, to do those all detail model, it's going to take a lot of time. If our subject is going inside this building, something happening, our camera goes inside between this building, and this is our main topic, we don't have any solution to do with projection mapping. But if this building comes behind your character, and you, behind this character buildings are there, from behind, if any of the buildings, some helicopter comes, some other incident happens, so somebody's flying, a superhero is flying, something like that is happening, there is no problem. But if this is your main subject, you cannot use uh, projection mapping technique in movie. But if you are using this one, if you are using this one for as a background, 
from the background something is happening so you don't it won't feel like an image only you can get this result like a 3d only you can move the camera a little bit here and there you feel like this is 3d but the condition is this one if there is a main this is the main subject if you're going with this camera inside and all this is not possible else you don't need to model this entire area we will be projecting this one from our camera we have a camera we are using in 3d smacks you all know 3D Max and Maya now. So 3D Max or Maya, we are using a camera. Through the camera, we will be projecting an image or video to a surface. So you will feel like there is images. Then the camera is slowly moving left and right into no problem, but you cannot move from here to here. Of course, not possible. So there is limitation from almost uh, a particular distance from here to here, you can move it. That you will understand depends on the image, what you choose, depends on how much area you have to move. So this is projection mapping in, in, in 3D, what we're going to do, projection mapping in Maya, what we're going to do, okay? These kind of uh, images, maybe for example, this room, you don't need to make this entire room to model. You can do some plane, you're gonna keep it, and we will project this image to that screen. So actually it's happening because in the 3D projection mapping, the 3D perspective view we are using. Let me take, uh, You can see many, for example, you see the entire building. In this building, for building image is there, plus some boxes have kept it on top of it. Only boxes, no detail, no windows over there, no textures of detail we are making. Why we are doing, maybe something happened from behind, somebody is coming here or here, something is coming. So you need to make this kind of boxes, just the plain boxes. This city, you wanna walk through this way. You, you don't need to model this one. You can do projection mapping. Some subject is connected. I don't understand what it is exactly. Buildings is projecting from different angle. That's gonna be very advanced for you. The entire room has designed in, in projection mapping. This is using in a different software called Nuke. So this is an idea what we're studying. You can implement in any software. We're going to link this one with Maya now. You can link with the 3D Max. You can link with many other similar software. You see. The objects are not modeling everything, only some plane and boxes remaining via projecting that image. This is a building. In the building, this area only using a 3D boxes. Okay, then we will project it. So here is not important. Here may be something happening. So that's the reason the, here, this area is only modeling. A complete house you see look like projection mapping. We don't need to model this one. It's take a lot of time to model. Instead of this, the shape only, we're gonna make it only the shape. Then the image we're going to, project on it, okay? So if somebody asking the projection mapping, the projection mapping in the real world we are doing using a projector is projecting to a screen, okay? That's actually projection mapping. But in projection mapping in 3D, for 3D also for each and every scene, you need to model it. Instead of modeling all the models one by one detail, we will use shape only. And to that shapes, we will project an image to that project, uh, to that surface through our camera. Using our camera, we will project the, then you're gonna get a realistic result like this. So your half of the work is, mainly movies people are using this one. So you see uh, the big, big area, like what you see airplanes and all when, when the airplane goes and the both side maybe is visible. Okay, there's two side, you can see two hill, but the hill is not a main subject. So you're not gonna go inside that, okay? So in the both side, if it is visible, you don't need to model that one. Just you keep it both side, just you keep it both side to, similar kind of a shape, similar kind of a heel shape, then we're gonna project that one to that uh, on, on that surface. We're going to use project, we're going to use projection mapping to that surface, okay? So that is called projection mapping. Now, how we are going to do projection mapping in Maya, okay? So first you understand what is projection mapping, you understand what is a projection mapping in 3D. Then we are going to do how to do this projection mapping in Maya. 